Hey, what's up, guys? So I have a cool new app here, Nokia here, on beta. It's supposed to only run on um, Samsung devices, but I have the APK here. Put it in the description. Basically, it runs on any Android device or any 4.0 or newer. And I really like it because of the offline navigation it has. Um, quick settings here. If you have maps, drive, like the Nokia drive, it gets you around the city. Um, if you're in a particular area looking for something, it'll do offline navigation. But I'll show you some of the cool things here. Um, you can download maps. So if you have, if you're going somewhere and you don't know the area, etc., you can download maps. So once you sign in, it'll give you the option to download. Um, what's it like? Any country has North America, South America, Asia, etc. All that. Um, it'll save it to your internal memory or your external memory. Um, on the OnePlus One has 64 gigabytes of memory, so it can just store it to the offline here. Um, then if you go into the Use App Offline, it'll show you here. It tells you that it'll only be used when offline, so if you're navigating and it's downloaded everything, it'll be saved to that, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you take it off there, it doesn't remind you. Settings here. Um, you can change the units, whether you're metric, imperial, UK, US. Um, this is clear history of your any of your searches, anything like that. Just clears it out. Um, I really like this portion here, the traffic, because it'll automatically update traffic and download every, I don't know, I haven't checked exactly how many minutes it does it, but it'll download your um, traffic data into the map and input it. Then uh, the voice navigation here, um, regular, and then you have voice. So I'll show you guys what the main differences between the two are here. Um, if you play the regular UK, the regular US voice, I'll go ahead and download the US voice here. This is the normal one, uh, which is regular voice, and then they have the high fidelity one. You can really tell a difference. I was surprised of how how much difference it was between the two voices. Um, it'll play a short, like, I think it's like a, it just says a couple directions, like left, right, and stuff like that. So I'll show you what it, what it plays like. So if I go back to manage voices, I'll go ahead and play it here and I'll be. After one mile, turn right onto Fifth Avenue. So that's the lower fidelity one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the high fidelity one so you can see it and it's a lot better. After one mile, turn right onto Fifth Avenue. See, it's a very big difference. So it's really nice that it lets you download all the different ones. Um, and if you go here, let's go back into the main app itself. If we go into the maps, we'll go ahead and search something here. Um, let's go ahead and search Space Needle. Space Needle. It'll take us there, and then it'll give us the directions how to get there. And if you zoom in on the actual area itself, like you can see the different landmarks that are around. This is the EMP, the Music Project Experience, and then the Space Needle. And then if we come out a little bit more, you have to be zoomed in pretty close to see it, but you can rotate around on it and see all the different things. Um, down in this area here is the, our stadiums, etc. Uh, let's go ahead and try, let's search for something else here. Let's do Starbucks. Seattle's known for Starbucks, right? Go ahead and select that. And it'll search all the Starbucks in the area, which is in Seattle because this is where it's located now. So it pulls up the results to where you most recently located at. But see if you can see that, how congested it is with them. And... Let's see a couple other things that I really like. Oh, you have this here. Um, satellite view, transit view, traffic view. Like I said, the traffic view will automatically download traffic data every once in a while. Transit, so if you take the bus or the uh, metro or anything, wherever you are, it'll download map data for that. And then you have the satellite view of wherever you are. So that's really cool. Um, that's basically it there. Um, once you've signed into your account and have it set up and everything is going, you'll see a lot more things. So um, it's a really cool app. I'll go ahead and leave a link to the description. Like I said, any Android device running 4.0 or newer will do this. I'll show you. This is the latest version here. Um, the last one that was leaked was week 38.
So it's week 39. Every week, I, I believe it was Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, they'll release it. So I'll try to go ahead and keep this post updated. If you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and consider subscribing. I really appreciate it and helps it a lot. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.